as, as crypto matures and lifts up its full potential, I think this notion of real uh, world utility will become increasingly more relevant. And just to give you an example, so we at Ripple, uh, with our flagship product on demand liquidity, we're literally harnessing billions of dollars of XRP liquidity to facilitate cross-border payments in a couple of seconds from, say, the US to Mexico instead of your two, three days like in legacy systems. Um, so really sur solving a, a massive pain point in this world, which is how money moves around the world. And, and these are use cases that can scale in the trillions. So I think the future of crypto liquidity uh, will be shifting more towards solving real world problems as opposed to just speculation. That was Ripple's global head of institutional markets. His name is Marcus Infunger. You heard him, using crypto to move money. These are the use cases that can scale into the trillions. The future of crypto liquidity too is more moving towards solving a problem than just speculation. And speaking of Marcus, here we have a picture that was uploaded on Twitter from Geraldo XRP. And it is a weather report coming from a local news station. And they caught someone on the beach with an XRP hoodie. If you look closely, I think this is Marcus. So Marcus, we see you. I've bought twice today in this extremely red market as stock futures slip on Wall Street. Dan Tapiero tweeted out just a few hours ago that he sees a severe economic slowdown coming. Terra is trending, and I'll tell you why. There's a lot of drama. XRP has a new use case. I think it's a big one. And I'll also share with you what I'm looking to add because this is when real wealth is built. Let's first talk about that new use case for XRP, Japan's first XRP payment support on an e-commerce site was announced today by SBI, and this is with SBI Motor Japan. They export about 5,000 used cars annually, mostly to Africa. They're going to allow payment in XRP and Bitcoin. And I'm telling you, Yoshitaka Kitao just keeps putting XRP utility into play. The transactions will be integrated with SBI VC Trade. Now, if you don't know it, SBI is the largest outside shareholder of Ripple. And Mr. Kitao, Yoshitaka Kitao, is just a bull when it comes to promoting XRP. They are a user of the on-demand liquidity. They use XRP as an incentive across the board. I mean, I'm talking about really creative ways to get people to use the crypto asset. It is a shareholder incentive. It is a payment for the esports team. It's going to be used in the coming crypto swaps market. It doesn't stop with just one use case when it comes to SBI. So as the likelihood of an economic turndown is going to happen throughout the globe, you have to focus in on where the growth is. And I think I found one place, and this is it. This is what it looked like in 1883. The location is Toronto, Canada. Uber, Amazon, Snowflake, they all opened a Toronto engineering hub, as did DoorDash. And in March, Meta, formerly Facebook, announced it would open its engineering hub in Toronto with 2,500 new hires in mind. And Ripple now is opening a new engineering hub in Toronto. So with this kind of wave comes investment opportunity. And what I'm talking about is if you are a business that is looking for new customers, I think Toronto is a place you want to focus on. The drama on Twitter and the trolls, everything was in high gear today when it came to Terra. Do Kwan and his Luna Foundation Guard were in the best of form. Now this volatility has been significant and they made a move that was a bit of an intervention and I would say quite a 
bit of intervention. They put their capital into the hands of a professional market maker to stabilize the peg of the UST. Now this move brought out the critics, you know, centralization claims and all of the fact that because their DEX was not ready yet, that they uh, are making uh, these shady moves. Well, I can tell you that the guard, as they are called, erred on the side of caution. And Doe hung around his tweet all day, answering to the doubters. So as Luda, Luna is trading down around $60, I applaud the millions in liquidity that they pulled from Curve and executed in a BTC loan. This is the type of professional management until we have the ability to manage volatility through automated systems, this is what professionals do. The advice I have for you as one who's been through a bear market for over a thousand days, this is the time to do your research because this is when the weak coins shake out and this is when the best buys appear. You want to go deep and see who's doing well during a bear market. And I can tell you there are a lot of really good projects that will weather the storm. And so don't worry. If this is your first bear market, this is your first big opportunity. And I'm serious about that. I'm going to let Uphold the Exchange take you out because they have a clever new innovation that they are launching. This is going to have a level of impact that is said to have never been seen before in this space. Now, if you want to keep abreast of the changes and the market developments in this space, I recommend that you sign up to Link2. No, you don't have to be accredited just to sign up because you might not be accredited today, but you could definitely be accredited in the future. And I think you want to tap in to the knowledge that they deliver right into your email box. The link can be found in the description below. I'm excited for this new feature that's coming. Do take care. Sayonara for now. Bye-bye. The more digital assets there are, the more complex operating in the vernacular of trading pairs becomes, right? And so when there's 12,000 fungible assets and now, you know, an infinity of non-fungible assets, you're never going to get a Board Apes, Yacht Club, uh, Apple, uh, you know, or Apple Options pair. It's, it's a literal impossibility. So that metaphor we came up with was very profound. And I think people take it for granted, but it was pretty bloody profound and it gets more and more useful the more digital, the world of digital assets expands. This next thing we're launching is that nature of clever innovation. It, it's meant to take wildly complex transactions and make them as simple as two swipes of your finger. Uh, again, we, we haven't, it, it hasn't gone through enough QA for me to say, holy shit, this thing is unreal, but, but, but at least we're trying to produce stuff with that level of impact.